couple of days ago. I just didn't have time to put it together. I opened it up earlier today and I looked at it. Um, it was a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, it was, the, the most confusing part is it had too much hardware that I couldn't understand exactly where it goes. Uh, for the application that I'm using it for, it didn't seem like I need everything. So I kind of had to figure out exactly what I need uh, to use to put this together. It doesn't come, pre it's not uh, pre-assembled, so you will have to do it yourself. Uh, this one, it is also, it's advertised uh, for a Raspberry Pi. Uh, but in our situation, or at least in my case, I'm using it uh, as a screen for one of my rigs. So, in the box you will have your um, CD-ROM. Um, you'll have the power cable, the HDMI cable, um, and then you'd have, well, you'll also have a uh, plug. HDMI adapter, I believe. This goes into the side of the uh, screen. And then, what confused me was these three bags of hardware. I couldn't quite understand what was it for. What is it doing? Where is it going? I still don't understand it. Um, Maybe I'm putting this together the wrong way, and if anybody has a couple of these and knows how to put them together, feel free to comment down below and let me know what I've done wrong. Uh, but for what I found out is that I will not be using these two, which is these two, and I will just be using one of these that has eight screws. Um, there's four longer ones and four shorter ones in this bag with the hardware for them. So this is the only one that I'll be using for the screen to put it together. Um, then in the box you would have a screen that um, it comes in the foam. It's pretty well packaged, I'd say. It doesn't bounce around so it can't get damaged during shipping unless somebody's beating the box. Um, then on the bottom side, you'd have the frame for it and this was another confusing part why do I have four pieces well it took me a little while to realize that this these two pieces are for the back side of the screen this would be put together so this would be one and these two pieces right here are um, for the front side of it. It's almost like a frame around the screen. So, then you also have the two support pieces for the back side of this that you might have to put together. So, I found that I have fat fingers because it gave me these tiny little things to work with. These little things. Look at them. You're supposed to hold this. Keep in mind, you're supposed to hold this over here. Right in here. You have to hold it. It's got to go in there. Like that. And you have to hold it to be able to put the screw through it. While you're holding everything else together. So, you see? That's what I mean. Let's see how much fun this is. So once you put this together, it just goes, you have a frame, just match it with the holes that you have. This would be the back side of it. So this is where these supports go. Like so. Um, so for this part, I need the short screws. I already know where they go because I've done it once. So, it goes in there and you take this one, try to put it on to the point where it's flush. I'll show you in a minute. Let me try to um, put these together first. So, 
with the short screw, this is impossible. This is just impossible. You know, nobody told me that this is going to be annoying. But, it's the little things. I don't have a pair of needle wool pliers around me. Or a pair of tweezers right now. So, I guess I'm going to have to figure it out. I put one in. That's half the battle on this support. Let's see if we can get the second one the same way. It is a total pain right now. But I made it work. Um, tell you what, the first time I did this, it did not go this easy. I think I learned from the first round. Whoops. Hope I don't break it before I put it together. Alright, so once I take this... See, now I got myself in a situation. Sorry, I keep knocking the support for the camera. Uh, there we go. So that goes in there. And let's find another one of the short ones. The shorter screws out of the eight ones that you have are going to be for your uh, support over here. Oops. Come on now. Nope. Didn't want that. Yeah, honestly, I think if you have a little kid around you with tiny fingers, have them do it for you. At least on this part. Um, I would have put my son to do up to it, but he can't be bothered at this time. Apparently. Um, I'm going to take a screwdriver and just kind of tighten this and I'll explain to you in a second why I'm doing this right now because for the next step I want these to be tight because once we put the screen and the frame on I won't be able to get to these anymore um, so we will take these little puppies and let's see once you have your screen whoopsie see I almost knocked this down um, you have your screen in hand you will have this side of it where you have the HDMI um, you have this port is for uh, touch which I believe this might be a touch screen and then this one is for power only you also have the power button for this, which is on and off. It's like a tiny little switch over there. As you can tell, you have this ribbon here. So this ribbon, I figured out that it goes in here, where this piece is pre-cut. And I'll show you how it's going to look in a minute. Um, this and we'll take the front side of it put it right over like I said I might be wrong on the way I'm building this but I couldn't find any instructions so I'm doing it the way I think it goes together and the way it works for what I'm going to use it so I put those two pieces of the frame on the front side, I gotta make sure that I put these screws through the whole thing from the front all the way to the back, also holding the screen. And it's not easy. It is driving me insane. Alright. Now, these tiny little things, you'd have to put them on the back side of the screw and I think I just lost one so that'll be fun trying to find it 
It is insane. Guys, this is crazy. Now keep in mind I'm used to bigger stuff, not these tiny little screws over here. I don't know who makes these and why. Um, for this screw. Well, this video is going to be all over the place, isn't it? I do apologize if um, some of this video will be pointless or annoying. But, there we go. I'm new to this, so bear with me. There we go. One day I will have better equipment and... Uh, probably a better stand so I can actually see what I'm doing um, come on now ah, there we go it's going in there so now that I have the two p uh, two screws on the um, on two corners over here I can actually work a little bit easier put this in and then put this one in. Where is it at? I'll just lay it down. Let's see if I can get it there so you guys can see something. And oh, that's not it. Oh wow. This is a little frustrating guys. I will definitely recommend, if you're buying this, to put it together the way I did. Make sure you have a pair of tweezers or some needle nose pliers around you. Oh look, I found the other one, it was sitting right here. I thought it went on the floor, it would have been fun trying to find it. I don't oh my god I know you guys are gonna have some nice things to say about it I just know it I might just give up on putting this together on camera ah, never mind I got it all right once I have that together, tighten these a little bit. There. All right. And there you have it. It is put together. If I can, uh, let's do this first. So once this is put together, I have this cable in here, the one with a USB. So this part will plug into the motherboard. This part will plug into this screen on the back side where it says power only. Plug that in. And I also have the HDMI that I will plug into here. that's how it would look when it's put together you guys can see it this is it so there you have it it is right there now for the first time putting it together it took me about I want to say about an hour uh, trying to figure out everything and like I said these the, the pre-cut frame that it has it has 
uh, a bunch of pre-drilled holes. I'm not quite sure what they're for, what they do. And with all the extra hardware that I have here, it, it was quite confusing uh, to begin with. I wish this company would just put some simple instructions on how to how to put these together for different applications. Um, so I might, like I said, I might not have it put together the right way, but it works for what I'm for what I needed to do. Uh, I'm actually trying to figure out if I can make it work. Well, let's just try to. Um, put this maybe on one of the rigs and restart it give me one second guys hi guys so I put this one and I kind of temporarily plugged it into this one rig that I have um, over here I'm sorry about the noise if it's too loud from the fans uh, let's see if let me see if I can show you so I plugged in the HDMI into the motherboard and then I have the um, USB for the power supply for the power cord uh, plugged into the motherboard sitting over here let's see if we can flip the switch and if it does anything uh, goes up oh there we go so it does work and it is actually really nice um, now my whole thing is I gotta figure out these are custom built frames that I did myself and I didn't have this at the time so now I have to take everything and rearrange everything on the bottom to be able to put this on so it's one with the rig and that way all I have to do if I need to move it is power cord for the ATX power supply the power cord for the server power supply and pick it up also of course and the ethernet and then just pick it up and take it wherever I need it. Hopefully that's gonna make it easier and I don't have to have um, a uh, HDMI cord from one of the screens to this and then kind of plug it in and unplug it if I need it. I, I wanna be able to restart the rig if I have an issue and look at the screen and figure out what the problem is without having to uh, deal with uh, a bigger screen, I, I guess. This is uh, one of the rigs that I'm using. Um, there's going to be a video about how to build these frames. I'm also going to have a couple of pictures, I believe, um, attached to how this rig looked before this frame. Um, it was it was pretty funny looking. I kind of started as a hobby and then just kind of turned into a little more than a hobby. So I'll have a video about this um, coming soon. But for right now, I think that would be everything would, um, that should cover this screen over here. Hopefully this video is gonna help somebody and figuring out how to put it together. Um, I guess that would be everything for right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.